allow me to give you a little bit of history and how I became involved with North Point State Park. It was called Bayshore Park. The fountain was the focal point. Upper Fountain was actually the axle of a humendous and a very enormous challenge because everything went out from it. And if you stand where the copper top is, it's directly east, directly west, directly north, directly south. Everything had gotten real bad, overgrown, vines, trees, large trees around the fountain. Those foundations are still here. And it just needs a little bit of money to do a, a restoration for it. There was going to be a lot of work on that. This, this fountain that was over 100 years old, that laid here 52 years without any attention, everything started to deteriorate. Everything started to become weatherized. By weatherized, I mean take on a lot of snowfalls, a lot of bad weather hurricanes, floods that affected the environment of the fountain. I'm going to start working on that and restore the fountain. I know it's going to be a hard job. No help at the very beginning. I'm on my hands and knees with a wire brush trying to wire brush all of this lead paint that was put on it year after year. They were painted a different color. Um, and why did, the, why did this North Point State Park receive so much attention? Because there's a guy down there working on his hands and knees, restoring this piece of property. And I had compiled at that time over 25,000 hours, and I, I was still going, you know, with hours that I was contributing every day and all day long. And I knew every foot of it, every inch of it. There's so much history here. There's so much history. I'm, I believe one of the only people who's old enough with a little bit more gray matter in my hard drive between my two ears to be able now to remember these things and, and tell them to people. 